Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we're doing a division problem sent from one of my viewers. I always enjoy looking at the comments, and I have a uh, special request for a problem from Glay. I believe it's G L A I. This is the uh, request right here. And so we're going to do that one today. Also, um, all the different comments I get, uh, this person right here, I live in the Philippines. I get a lot of um, viewers from the Philippines and India. So thank you very much for joining our show. Again, I always love looking at the comments on my YouTube channel. And once in a while, I'll take a problem that you request. So let's get right into the problem right here. It is uh, a four digit number divided by 24. Wow, where do I start? Well, we're gonna see how many times can I put 24 into four? Can't do it, can I? So I need to go over to the next number, 48. How many times can I put 24 into 48? Well, I'm gonna do a little figuring off to the side here. And I, I love using the smart board. I'm just starting to use this on my show. And the smart board is from HKMLC. And I'll have a, a, a link to that in, my, um, in, in the comments down below if you're ever interested. But this is a lot of fun to use. So let's go ahead and take 24 times 2. So 4 times 2 would be 8, and then 2 times 2 would be 4. Wow, that's bingo. We hit it right there on the mark. So I'm going to go ahead and put 2 right here, and then 2 times 24 is 48. Whoops, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I like that. I can do the undo to you know, get away a little boo-boos I might accidentally do. So 2 times 24 is 48 right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and subtract. 8 minus 8 is 0. Two, 4 minus 4 is 0. And then I just bring down the next number, which would be 6. And now how many times can I put 24 into 6? I can't, can I? I can't. But I can use 0 because 0 time, times 24 would be 0. So I'm going to go ahead and put 0 right here. So 0 times 24 is 0. And now I go ahead and subtract, and I bring 6 right here, and I bring the next number down, and that would be 8. So I'm going to bring that 8 all the way down to here, and now I start the whole process over. How many times can I put 24 into 68? Looks like 48 right now. Um, if I did 24 times 3, so 4 times 3 would be 12, carry the 1, and then 3 times 2 is 6, plus the 1, which would be 72. That's too much. So I'm going to go ahead and just use 2. I need to make this problem just a little bit smaller. I'm running out of screen here. So the nice thing about using a smart board is that I can shorten this a little bit. All right. This is so cool, isn't it? All right, let's go ahead and put 2 right here. So 2 times 24 is 48, and then I go ahead and subtract 8 minus 8, 0, and then 6 minus 4, 2, and now I don't have any other numbers to bring down, and if we don't want to turn in this into a decimal, this would be our remainder. So it would be 202 with a remainder of 20. Let's see if we can uh, add a little... Uh, some numbers with a decimal. So I'm going to put a decimal point here and right here. And when you put a decimal, it does not matter on how many zeros you put on the other side. It just, you can add as many zeros as you want to. So let's put a zero right here and then bring that all the way down right here. So now I have 200. And again, I'm going to go ahead and make this problem just a little bit smaller. It's starting to run out of uh, screen room here, aren't I? All right, let's go ahead and bring that over here. All right, now we got plenty of room to work with here. So now, how many times can I put 24 into 200? Now, if this was 100 and that was like 25, I know I could put it in four times. So let's double that to eight. So let's put, let me see here, 24 right here times eight. And then eight times four is 32. So we'll put two here and three here. And then 8 times 2 is 16, 17, 18, and 19. And I think that's a probably, I, I don't think I can go any more with there. So I'm going to go ahead and put 8 right here. And then 8 times 24, which would be 100. 
and 92. And then I go ahead and subtract, and now I got to borrow. So this will be 1, and this is 9, and then 10. 10 minus 2, which would be 8. And then 9 minus 9 is 0. Um, now, again, I can bring down another 0. Remember, I can add as many zeros as I want here. It's not going to change the value. So I'm going to bring this next one down here. And that's another 0. Uh, how many times can I put 24 into 80? Hmm, what do you think? I'm thinking maybe three times. Let's put no. Oh, we already did that right here. So 24 times 3 would be 72. So I'm going to go ahead and put 3 right here. So 3 times 24 is 72. And then I'm going to go ahead and subtract. Borrow right there. And this would be at 8. Again, I have a 0 right here because I can't put 24 into 8, so I need to drop down another 0 and put it all the way down here. And now you're going to notice, hey, look at this. I got an 80, and I, I would probably put a 3 right here. And then 3 times 24 would be 72. And this is just going to keep repeating, repeating, repeating. Um, it'll just keep on going like that. So our answer basically is going to be 202.83. Take a look right there. That's to my new channel called Dino Math. We have a lot of fun on that show. We have Beyblades, dinosaurs, a lot of mathematics. Uh, I'd sure appreciate if you go over there, hit the subscribe button to that channel. Also, if you can hit the subscribe button to this channel, oh my goodness, I'd be sure be happy, happy about that. Um, and leave a comment down below. Maybe I'll choose one of your problems on the next show. Hey, have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.